Brian Denlinger is the worst cult leader in history. <laughs> uh, I have to answer some accusations that have come out against me. I am Brian Denlinger, if you're new to the ministry here. People say that I'm a cult leader, uh, which is kind of really funny when you actually look at the reality of my life and what I try to bring out and everything else. Um, when you compare me, I mean, look at some of the big cults in history. You have the Mormons, founded by Joseph Smith, out in Salt Lake City, Utah. They went out there and they brought all their people with them, and then now they kind of control things out there, and they're very cultic. They're the only ones that are truly saved. Um, again, that's put on me and things that I'm, I'm the only one that's truly saved, or my followers are the only one that's truly saved, or whatever, which is nonsense. I've never said that. Uh, that's one of the many lies that's put out against me. But what's another one? Jehovah's Witnesses. Charles Taze Russell. Uh, back in the 19th century, Charles Taze Russell was a Freemason. Um, came out with the Jehovah's Witnesses, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. And again, they're the only ones that are truly saved. Um, very cult-like. How about the biggest one? Catholicism. All right. uh, outside of the Catholic Church, there is no you know, relationship with God. Uh, the Catholic Church is the biggest of the cults out there today and will be the biggest in all of world history. Um, but again, you have the Pope, you have all of the royal, ruling hierarchy and everything else, and you can't disagree with the official teachings of the Catholic Church. Now, they came out with their whole Second Vatican Council, which I have right here in the 1960s, uh, 19, I think beginning in 1962, but they came out and they basically were saying, well, we can kind of talk with other people now, whatever. It's a smoke screen until they get full control coming in the future. But uh, another cult. Again, look at the power. Look at the wealth. Look at the, you know, whatever. I'm saying more about this as we continue. What about David Koresh, the Branch Davidians down in Waco, Texas, the infamous uh, Waco massacre that happened down there. Um, David Koresh was the leader of that thing. And... Again, all the characteristics of a cult. They're the ones that are right. Everybody else is wrong. Uh, people coming there, moving there, and things, living on the compound. And I'll say more as we continue about the whole thing. Uh, Jim Jones, another one. The People's Temple. Again, Jim Jones, the charismatic cult leader. And he really was a Pentecostal charismatic. Got into that whole moving, movement, the healing and the speaking in tongues and all the other stuff. And ended up uh, going down to South America. I said Africa in one of my other studies and things, my study on Jim Jones and the whatever else, because it was, I always get the thing mixed up, Guyana versus Ghana or something like this. Made a mistake, you know, I've apologized about that in the past, but, you know, but he goes down there, ends up having all of his members, you know, I don't remember how many it was, a couple hundred or something, and they all drink Kool-Aid laced with uh, was it cyanide, I think. And they all, or arsenic, a poison. They drank Kool-Aid and they, you know, died. Uh, mass suicide, in other words. A cult. Clearly a cult. Uh, what about Islam? You know, uh, Allah is God and Muhammad is his prophet. There is no other God. There is, you know, it's just Allah and, and Muhammad the prophet, you know. Uh, we'll kill you if you're not Muslim. You know, the more radical sects of Islam and things. Again, another cult. Again, a holy city, a place where people go to and whatever else. And you've got to subscribe to those teachings and those teachings alone. And they're having you dress certain ways and whatever else. Okay? So let's go through some of these characteristics of a cult. And show you why I am the worst cult leader out there. I mean, if I'm truly a cult leader and I'm the head of the Denlinger Wright cult and whatever else. And I have all my Denlinger rights and things. I'm going to show you why I am doing a terrible job at this, okay? <laughs> Point number one, I don't have a church building. Jim Jones had a church building. David Koresh had a church building. The Pope has a few church buildings, okay? The Mormons, the Mormon, Mormon Temple in Salt Lake City, all right? Jehovah's Witnesses, they have their kingdom halls. Again, you got to get people to come in there to a building where they can not be exposed to anything else and you can use all the different tactics of, of mind control in there. With St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, you have all the, the huge, big, massive pipe organ and the gigantic cathedral ceilings and all the other stuff and the, all the pomp and pageantry and everything else with the robes and the gold-gilded threading and all that stuff, you see? You can mind control the people. I don't even have a church building, you know? What about Islam? 
again, Islam, big, huge temples and things and mosques and whatever else. Number two, so I don't have a church building, so I'm failing miserably there as a cult leader. Number two, we have uh, no wilderness compound. A lot of these guys, you know, David Koresh down there in the middle of nowhere in Waco, Texas, they had the Branch Davidian compound there. The Branch Davidians were a splinter group of the Seventh-day Adventist cult. Uh, there was this woman that was down there, don't remember what her name was, but she was down there and she was the head of this Branch Davidian thing and she was an old woman and David Koresh went down and was fornicating with her because that was part of their ritual ceremony thing, the joining of God and goddess. I'm not going to get into much more of that, but that's what they were teaching. Again, I've studied, I've researched this thing. And um, they had this thing and all the people came to this compound and whatever else and they were all living there communally and all this and everything. And uh, I don't have anything like that. Okay, I'll say more about that in just a couple minutes here. Jim Jones, again, the People's Temple starts out there out in California, I think it was. And then they go down to South America and they buy this land down there, this remote land, and they all go on down there. They're going to live in this communal type of a thing with Jim Jones as their leader. All right. Then you get into a lot of the other ones there. I'm not going to get into the whole thing. But uh, people say, well, you have land out in the, in the wilderness of northern Maine. Yeah, and uh, located in none of your business Maine. <laughs> say it that way. <laughs> but yeah, we bought some remote land. Uh, you know why? So we can get away from people. You say, isolationism. Uh, no, it's called just, you know, People want to go on vacation. They want to go to some mountain cabin that's not around other people so they can relax. I work in town. I'm in town right now. All right. But I want to be able to go to my property, get out of the way from all the noise and all the other stuff and whatever else. How's that me being the head of a cult? Again, I'm, I'm doing a real poor job there. I mean, I don't even, nobody that I'm associated with, none of my followers have ever even stepped foot on my property. And you know, probably not many ever will. I'm not going to be building a compound there. Again, where am I getting the money for the compound? That's one of my favorite things, too. I'm going to build a compound. Where am I getting the money? You know? I mean, we're going to build a, a cabin on the thing or something, a little tiny cabin, you know, a tiny home on our property. But I'm in danger. I'm building a compound. Okay, I'd sure like to know where this money's coming from, you know? People are crazy in the head. A lot of people are delusional that are enemies of this ministry. It's just funny. Um, <clears throat> no name elevation. Okay, another sure sign of somebody who's not the head of a cult is uh, they're not elevating their name to a point of being worshipped. Again, you have, uh, you know, Lutherans. Why are you calling yourself a Lutheran? Because of Martin Luther. Mennonites. I'm a follower of Menno Simons. Um, you know, down through the years and things, the, the, um, what was the, uh, what was, I'm trying to think of the Jim Jones town thing. It was it, uh, keep thinking Jonesboro or Jonesville or something. Maybe that wasn't it. But the whole point is people that are cult leaders will elevate their name up to a worship type of status. Um, it's funny because my ministry is kingjamesvideoministries.com, not the teachings and preachings of Brian Denlinger, the right reverend Brian Denlinger. No, I'm not going to see that. How about my YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is named after a chainsaw, for crying out loud. <laughs> you know, Husky 394 XP, Husk, Husqvarna uh, 394 XP. It's a professional saw line. Because it started off as a logging channel. You can watch some of my old videos where I'm felling, you know, cutting timber and stuff. Felling trees. A pretty dumb thing to do if you if you want to form a cult. You kind of want to get your name out there, all right? The name of Brian Denlinger should be up in lights and, you know, whatever. But I don't do that. Again, I'm failing as a cult leader. Um, no personal authority. I was going to go through my videos, old videos, going back through years and years and years. But it just take too long and really it wouldn't make much of a point because I can just say it here. Again, for however many times I've said this. There's your authority. You see? Let me just kind of get out of the frame here. Okay? There's the authority. Not me. Do you understand that? 
I turn people to the King James Bible. And a lot of the people that follow this ministry disagree with me and show me scriptures where I'm wrong. And I say, you know what? That's true. Men and women, both, showing me scriptures saying, hey, brother, I love your ministry and everything else, but doesn't the Bible say this or doesn't the Bible? And I go, wow, you know what? That's true. That's good. And I've come out with numerous videos saying I have to change a position. I was wrong on this position and whatever else. Kind of a dumb thing to do if you're trying to make yourself into a cult leader. I mean, Jim Jones took the Bible and threw it at one point in time, so you don't need that book. That book's powerless. How about the Pope? It's uh, the sacred scriptures are fine, but if the divine tradition says something that the sacred scriptures don't say, then you go with divine tradition. Look it up. I mean, I showed it many, many times in different studies. All right, Islam, well, the writings of Muhammad. I mean, you can down through any kind of a thing out there. Uh, Vissarion, the demented Russian Antichrist over there, he has his scriptures which trump the Holy Bible, Holy Scriptures, the Word of God. And all the people come and they all worship him and he comes out at a certain time of the day and sits there and, uh, and talks to him and whatever else. And they all climb up the mountain, pilgrimage, and he rides in on his ATV or something. You know, and he does have an ATV and he does ride. I'm not just being insulting. I don't mind insulting him, but you know. <laughs> so again, I don't tell people you have to go and sub be subservient to me and whatever else, like a lot of the guys do in the church buildings. Uh, don't you speak against the man of God. Hey, I'm the pastor here. You know, they do this whole thing. And then those same guys have the nerve to come after me and try to say I'm a cult leader or whatever else when they're the ones sitting in their little church building with a little suit and tie on and people coming around calling them a special title that's not given anywhere in scripture as a title. It's a description. Pastor is a description. It's never a title. But I'm the weirdo. I'm the cult leader. Right. Uh, another one. No sex perversion. Again, you look at the life of David Koresh. He had this revelation from God that he was supposed to be the one that would raise up children. So all the men that were involved there that had wives had to give their wives to David Koresh. And he was having children to all these different women. Jim Jones was a bisexual, a sodomite. Again, I proved that in my study. Um, you know, no sex perversion in the Vatican, of course, you know, or Islam. I mean, you never even hear of it. Yeah, right. How about Mormonism, polygamy? You can have multiple wives. Jehovah's Witness, you know, the whole situation there. Uh, I used to work with one, a black guy. Steve Cozy was his name. And uh, I'm not joking, that was his real name. And, um, you know, he was married to a white woman. And, and uh, he was, they were having divorce problems or whatever else. And he was out fornicating. Yeah. Another guy I worked with had a experience at one time. He was out camping with some buddies. And he said they were having, uh, you know, an orgy essentially with a Jehovah's Witness woman. Yeah, there's sex perversion there. You say, what about you, Brian? Married to a woman, one wife, and we have one son. Contrary to what some of the wingnuts think, I've, I saw you know some comments the one time somebody said that we have two children. I said to my wife, I said, where's the other child at? She said, what? <laughs> I said, this person here, look at that. They said we have two children. We didn't even know it, <laughs> you know? Okay, no, we have one son. Um, I'm true to my wife. She's true to me. Again, another one of the, the telltale signs of a cult leader, they'll get into sex perversion. Like Jack Hiles, another one, a Baptist cult leader with his big church building into sex perversion. That's why the church building, these big hirelings and things that are in there, they'll get into sex perversion all the time. Why? Because it's the atmosphere of a cult. Do you understand? I'm not a cult leader. And if you want to make me into one, then I'm the worst one in history. I'm doing a real poor job of keeping control over people. Uh, another little proof of that. I have a, you know, right around, what, 25,000 subscribers on YouTube? And yet my Patreon page has less than 250, I think. That's uh, pretty bad. Um, not much of a cult leader, am I? <laughs> so... <laughs> 
I just thought I'd make a fun little video of nothing else, you know, just just have some fun with this thing. Yeah. I'm a call leader. Uh, no, I'm not a call leader. Um, I point people to Jesus Christ and to the Word of God, the King James Bible. That's what this ministry is all about. Um, none of you are invited to a cult compound that I'm trying to build here in northern Maine or something like this. Uh, it is a remote property, and we want to keep it that way. I don't want a lot of people there. I want to go there and enjoy God's creation and peace and quiet. I'm not going to have some gong being hit or something to call assembly of all the people to come and worship me or something. That would be the most horrible, miserable thing that there is. <laughs> you know? So if you're waiting for the announcement that I've built a compound and that we're going to pr be providing for people to come and stay there and whatever... You're going to be waiting a long time because it's never going to happen, right? I'm not saying I'd never help people or whatever else. Certainly I would, but I'm not building something. Don't even have the money to. I mean, so uh, I'm sure now that my enemies will switch to some new tactic of new way of, you know, attacking me or whatever else, or they'll just keep continuing with their lies. They're liars, so... I'd be surprised by that. But uh, thank you to all the friends of the ministry out there. And um, like I said, I just did this as a comic thing more than anything else. Um, the people that are new to this ministry here that you don't know much about me or whatever else, and you'll hear these things, articles that have been written about me, websites coming out, lots and lots of videos on YouTube. Dunlinger is a cult leader and things. Uh, well, if I'm a cult leader, like I said, then I'm the worst one in history. Thank you for watching.